Hi guys, and welcome to the Family Fudge. Today I have a going out of town grocery haul to share with you. I went to Trader Joe's, to Target, and to Walmart. I picked up some food and snacks for our trip. I picked up lots of things to keep the kids busy on our road trip. And I also picked up some regular groceries to make some freezer meals before we head out of town. So stay tuned and I'll share this all with you. Okay guys, I'm going to start with the things from Walmart first. At Walmart, I focused on food for our trip, clothing items for our trip, and a few items for the house. And then I'll show you everything from Target. From Target, I really focused on activities from the dollar section, things that the kids could do in the car when we're driving to Disney. And then after that, I'll go ahead and show you everything I got from Trader Joe's, which is mostly snack items, and a few things to make some freezer meals that I'm hoping to make before we go out of town. From Walmart, I got a new set of kitchen knives. These are the Pioneer Woman ones with the teal handle. And no, these are not for our road trip or our vacation. I actually ordered the natural wood handles last week. They came in the mail and I wasn't happy with them. The handles were one color wood and the block was supposed to be the same, but it ended up being a dark espresso color. Not what they pictured at all. So I exchanged those today for these ones. So hopefully they'll be nice. I haven't opened them yet. Over here I picked up one item for Griffin. He's not really into coloring and playing with toys on car trips, so I got this for him hoping that it will keep him busy. This is a little flashlight toy and has songs. It teaches colors and animals. Hopefully he'll like this. It was about $12. I also picked up some juice boxes. It's been a while since I've purchased juice boxes, but I like these ones from Apple and Eve. They're organic with no added sugar, and I'm hoping to freeze these and actually put them in my park bag. That way by lunchtime they'll still be semi-cold. I also got some chocolate milk. They sell chocolate milk with all of the kids meals at Disneyland, but it's like $3 a bottle. So I got all six of these bottles for the same price. And we'll just put it in our cooler and bring it with us. Over here I have several clothing items. I picked up this really cute Star Wars shirt for Jackson. Let me open it up so you can really see it because it combines two things that he really likes, Star Wars and Legos. So this one says, don't fly solo, bring a Wookiee. Isn't that cute? This was $6.97, and I really like putting Jackson in a bright red shirt when we're at Disney so I can see him easily in a crowd. Now for Griffin, I picked up a new swimsuit. I actually have never purchased one for him before. This one is a Mickey Mouse shirt with the cute matching shorts. We're gonna be staying at a nice hotel with hopefully a nice pool, so. Hopefully he'll get to use that. Speaking of pool, I also picked up some swim shoes. These ones are in Griffin size, and these ones are in Lily size, and I got some for the older kids at Costco a while back. You know, it gets really hot during the day in Disneyland, but it's really chilly at night and in the morning. So for my girls, I picked up two black shirts to go under their little princess dresses. I also got two capris, one for each girl. I got them in the black and the denim so they can layer their clothes and hopefully not get too cold at night. The last non-food item from Walmart is some toothpaste. My kids were almost out and so I picked up their favorite kind. And then we have all the food items. You'll notice some familiar things if you've seen me. Get ready for a trip to Disney. I pretty much buy the same things. It makes it easy. We like to have breakfast in our hotel. We like to bring our lunch with us and then we like to buy snacks and dinner once we're at the park. It really saves time and money. So for breakfast, the kids and I prefer these. These are the Jimmy Dean Delights, and these are basically like an egg muffin. I love to make egg muffins, and these are really good. So this one is the turkey sausage and bacon, and this, was, this one is turkey sausage and veggies. You just pop them in the microwave. They're super yummy. And then for my husband, he prefers these. These are both gluten-free, so it's perfect for him. One is the chorizo and eggs, and the other is the chorizo benedict. So it's basically an egg breakfast bowl. And then for the kids' lunches, I picked up some Uncrustables. They really love the chocolate one, and it's definitely a splurge. We don't get these all the time. And of course, when we go on a trip, we always have lots of yogurt with us. We got some of this kefir in the peaches flavor. We got some of this drinkable yogurt for the kids. 
I got some yogurt pouches for my toddler. He's never had the apple flavor, so hopefully he'll like it because they're all apple flavored. So if he doesn't like the first one, he's not gonna like any of them. And then over here, we have the yogurt of my choice. We have the lemon, coconut, and pumpkin noosa. These are the best. I also picked up some of these for the kids. They love these. These are basically fruit by the foot, just a different brand. And I'm hoping to hand these to the kids when we're waiting in line or waiting for the parade, something to keep them busy. And it's definitely a treat. I also got two microwavable things of mac and cheese. This one is the Italian for cheese, and this one is the classic cheddar. I like to bring things like this on our trip so when we get back to our hotel at night, we have a quick snack for whoever might need one. Now, I mentioned some freezer meals that I'm hoping to make before we go, and that's because when we get back from our trip, we're getting ready to go on another trip, but it's just the adults this time. So I'm hoping to make some freezer meals for my kids to have when they're at grandma's house. So for the freezer meals, I got green onions, a can of cream of celery, some cream cheese, and some tortillas. And the ciabatta rolls are also for freezer meals. The hot dog buns are just to go with some hot dogs for an easy dinner right before we head out of town. Now, like I said, we like to bring our lunch into the park with us, and that usually includes string cheese. And as a snack, we like to bring some beef jerky. So this is just regular string cheese. This is a mixture of string cheese and cheddar cheese. And then, yes, like beef turkey, but in a stick. I also picked up two cans of Pringles, one in the barbecue and one in the cheddar and sour cream. These are the best chips to bring into the park because they're in this container so they won't get crushed. And this is a good amount for my family to all share. For our road trip, I have some special snacks as well. I got some of these organic cheddar cheese crackers, and these are so adorable because they're in the shape of an owl. And then for my husband, I picked up these pistachios. These are roasted and salted, and I know he'll like snacking on those. I also got some gum, and this is mostly for me, because I tend to get car sick. And if I have some gum with me, um, it definitely helps. And then the last thing from Walmart is a loaf of wheat bread. We're not gonna be taking this with us on our trip, but it's definitely gonna come in handy for some lunches and breakfasts before we head out of town. And I'll probably stick the rest of the loaf, whatever's left, in the freezer. And now onto the fun stuff from Target. Starting with some Color Wonder packs. I got one for each of the older kids. For Lily, I got Paw Patrol. For Mackenzie, I got Moana. And for Jackson, I got Minions. And I like these in the car so much better than regular crayons and markers because they don't leave a mess. It comes with the paper and the markers. Now these aren't necessarily fun items, but definitely useful. These ones are mostly for me. These are like a little portable toothbrush. You can stick them in your bag and just anytime you need to, give your teeth a cleaning. And then for the kids, I just got some of these dental flossers. We're definitely gonna pack these with us. And then over here, I got some really fun squishies. These, I haven't gotten these for the kids before, but they are so cute. I know they're really popular right now. I got one for each of the older kids, and I did actually have one for Griffin, but I gave it to him a few days ago. Back over here, I picked up another Mickey Mouse hat for Jackson. I got the same hat a few days ago for Griffin, so I thought they could definitely match. It would be super cute. And this is only $3. Then I also got three little packs of blocks. These were just a dollar each and they're basically like knockoff Legos and they're perfect for the long drive. I also stocked up on gloaming toys. It's so much cheaper just to buy your own before you go to the park. So these ones are a little bracelet. You just press the button just like that. And then these ones are your traditional bracelets. We get 15 for a dollar. Also from the dollar spot, I picked up these little packs. This is an activity book with crayons and stickers. And I really like these ones for the car because it's got a hard um, cover and back cover. So it's easier for the kids to do in the car. So this one's Minnie Mouse. I'm picking this one for Lily. For Jackson, I got the Cars one. And for Mackenzie, I got Shopkins. I also picked up some new movies. And I actually got these from the $5 movie spot at Target. This one is a bunch of different PBS shows. So it's kind of educational as well. And then this one is a Veggie Tales. So I know they're gonna love watching those on the drive. 
Moving on to some yummy treats. I got one of these Nutella things for each of the kids. This will be perfect while we're waiting for a parade or the fireworks. Something to hand to them that's not $5 each. These are just a dollar. So instead of buying endless amounts of churros, I'll just hand them one of these. And I also got some Kinder Joy eggs. The kids love these. I might give these to them in the car or when we're waiting in line. Now I don't usually give these to Griffin, so instead of one of these, I got him this little fruit snack pouch. But these are actually probiotic gummies, and he's had these before. They're actually really good. He loves them. Now just a few more things from Target. I picked up this new makeup to try. This is the CoverGirl Outlast. And I usually end up having to reapply my makeup several times when we're at Disney, so I thought I would give this a try. It's supposed to last a lot longer. I also picked up some dry shampoo. I've never tried this brand before, but I'm a big fan of dry shampoo, so hopefully it'll be good. And I also got a new thing of wipes in this handy pouch. I love these ones. And lastly, I got some Skinny Pop for my husband and I to share. And this is in the cinnamon and sugar variety. So, a lot healthier than a churro. From Trader Joe's, I picked up three bags of these peanut snacks. Now these look like a cheese puff, but they're actually not sweet. They're peanut flavored instead, and my toddler loves these. And these are actually the last three bags in the store. They always sell out for some reason at my Trader Joe's. I also got lots of fruit pouches. All of my kids love these. This one is in the strawberry this one is in the apple strawberry flavor, and this one is the apple mango. Now speaking of mangoes, I also got some dried mangoes. These are real mangoes um, with no added sugar. And then I got these mangoes, which are pretty much all sugar. These are the fruit and yogurt gummy candies. So yes, definitely a tasty treat. Lots of mango products. I also picked up this snack for myself. I'm thinking I'm the only one that's gonna like these. These are the fruit and nut snacks, and this is in the fig and walnut flavor. I've tried the apricot, and I've tried the date ones, and I like those, so I think these are gonna be really good. I also picked up a bag of the Trader Joe's potato tots. I think Trader Joe's has the best tater tots. And this whole bag was only $1.99. And hopefully, if I get around to making those freezer meals, that's what these will be for. Over here, I picked up some of these organic corn chip dippers. These are really fun little scoops, and I like to scoop some vegetarian chili. These go so well together. I also picked up some chicken tikka masala, and this is probably going to be my dinner as soon as I'm done filming this haul. I love this stuff, but I'm the only one in my family who does. I also picked up something new this trip. This is the cookie butter with cocoa swirl. Now I've had the cookie butter lots of times. It is very tasty, but I've never had it with the chocolate swirl. So definitely a fun treat to try. And then lastly, I picked up two bottles of our favorite kombucha. These are full of probiotics, so perfect when you're traveling and you don't want to pick up a tummy bug. Okay friends, that is everything in my getting ready to go out of town haul. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.